Of course, everybody's heard it said that a picture is worth a thousand words. Beyond that, a video is worth many times that thousand words. We're going to be talking about videos, pictures, PDFs, and how those could dramatically affect your ranking on Google My Business and help you sell more stuff. So let's get to it. This is Randy Kirk, Small Business Daily. And we're now going to want to take a look. What we're going to do is we're going to start with something basic about how to deal with pictures and videos and things that you do online. I'm going to just take a screenshot of this picture right here. This is an Aventon bike and one of my clients sells a lot of Aventon electric bikes. So I'm taking a screenshot. Now I'm going to go to my finder. I'm an Apple guy. I don't know if you call it the same thing on on a non-Apple product, but you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go, and that screenshot just popped up right there. And I don't wanna, I wanna call it something besides screenshot. I might have an internal thing to call it. I might wanna call it internally, um, you know, uh, Aventon slash Bumsteads or something. So I'm gonna change this to say something like e-bike fat tire Mountain bike, Aventon. You, you know, you can do as many words as you want here, but now you're going to have something where Google is going to pay attention to the image. They're going to pay attention to that words that you used on this image on your Google My Business. And it may mean that this, this image will even get uh, high, highly ranked on the images section on Google search. So that's why you wanna do that particular step. Okay, now we're gonna take this picture. We're gonna go into Bumstead's Google My Business account. So if you haven't set up your Google My Business account, we've just given you lots of videos on lots of different secret sauces that you can use to make your Google account amazing. But then for the basics, uh, we will give you a, a link down below of some very professional videos that were done uh, last year about how to set up the basics, okay? So you'll find that link in the description below. We're not talking about basics here today. In some ways, they're a little bit basic, but what they really are is secret sauce that's gonna help you get highly ranked. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down to photos. And in the photo section, it's going to allow you to add more photos. You can see we already have a lot of photos here. And we're going to go to the plus sign right here. And you have a choice of selecting the photo or you can grab it. You can just drag and drop it. So I'm gonna pull my finder up and I'm just gonna drag and drop that one that we just created right into there, okay? And just as simple as that, that new picture is part of the Bumstead's set of pictures for their uh, for their Google My Business ranking, so or the Google My Business site. So when I come in here as a consumer, I'm going to see all these pictures. I'm going to see that they're what the kind of business they're in, the kinds of things that they do. Um, it's going to be beneficial to me. This is also going to show up on their the the visible part that you can see um, on the web. Uh, is they're going to show some of the pictures, and then you can click in, uh, on see all and see all their pictures. Now, what can you put on this picture section? You can put stills like you're seeing there. You can put videos if you want to put videos up. Um, and you can put up PDFs. Checking to see if we had any videos in this one. I'm not sure that none of these seem to be videos, I don't think. But you put videos up um, and you can put PDFs up. Um, so you can basically put up <clears throat> almost any kind of, of visual media that you like in this picture section. So the more pictures you put up, the more Google's gonna like you. The more pictures you put, put up that are keyworded, the way that I just showed you how to do it, the more Google's gonna understand what you do and understand how to uh, become more effective uh, in, in ranking you under certain keywords. So pictures are very important and most people put up one or two pictures and they forget about it, they never do anything else. Put up lots of pictures, put up new pictures, uh, if you're in the bicycle business, every year you've got a new line, you've got new products coming in there, 
Now the 2022s are almost here. So you put those 2022 pictures up as soon as you can. All right, that's the picture section, the photo section. Now we're gonna to go to the post section. We have been able to see with our clients, we've been able to see a very direct correlation between rank with, ranking, how high you rank on Google My Business and the frequency of posting. If a customer was not posting at all and they started to post on a regular basis, after a couple of weeks, the ranking went up. This is one of the fastest correlations I've seen on Google My Business over the 13 years that I've been taking uh, care of clients on Google My Business. So if you post on a regular basis, then you're gonna get your ranking is gonna start to, to improve. Now, the second part is you wanna post in a way that's useful to the consumer and useful to Google. Once again, pictures are great. So you can pull up a picture. Let's say you wanna add a product. You can just add a product. You can put the photo right in. Under the photo, you can put product name. Under that, you can select a category. Is this a, a bicycle, an electric bicycle? And you can add categories. Maybe we wanna add helmets and add locking devices and add mountain bikes. And so you can add as many categories as you want. And that'll also, just by adding categories, you're gonna to start to tell Google more about who you are. You can put a price in if you wish. Now you have a description. You have up, a, up to a thousand characters to make a description. And in that description, you can use lots of keywords. Yes, you wanna to talk to the customer. You want the customer to make a buying decision because of what they see in the description, but you can put the right keywords in there at the same time, which is gonna, again, help your ranking under those keywords that you include in that product description. And then finally, you can add a button. You can say, hey, order online and take you to a link. You could put buy and take you to another link. Learn more, get offer. There's all kinds of different uh, buttons that you can use and you can just click on it and that will become the one that they're gonna use. And then you put down the link that will take them there. So this is the main thing that you wanna know about posting. You can see that kind of like Facebook, they offer events. You can just update something that's going on in your industry or in your store or in your product line or in your services. You can add a product like we just showed you. You can add an offer. Maybe you're having a sale and for, a, for the time being, you want a special price. You can put a COVID-19 update. Uh, maybe that's gonna still be a thing. Um, and then later on, you can take a look at what you've done in the past. So you can go back into all and as we scroll down, we can see all the different videos and different articles and things that we put up here about various things that are going on. Or you can divide it out. You can just look at your offers. You can look at what's new. You can just look at your events. Now, final thing on this with regard to posting. First of all, I think a couple of final things. Number one, I believe that they take down your post every 20 days. They will send out email warnings to let you know that they're gonna, the post has only got three days to go uh, so that you'll know to go in and put up another post. You can just copy a, a, an earlier post and put that up, but I would, I would try to rotate them, okay? But yes, your posts will go down if you're not uh, uh, doing them frequently. And by doing them frequently, you're sending a signal to Google My Business that they like. They like change. They like things to be updated. They like things that show that you are frequently getting involved with their, with their product, um, as well as if you're updating, that means that the information is fresh for their customer, which is the person that's searching. Okay, and then the last thing is in this section, you can still use pictures, you can still use PDFs, and you can use very short videos in the posts, up to 30 seconds, but there's also, I think, a, well, anyway, there's a limit in the number of megabytes or, and you, you definitely want to take a look at that limit to see that you don't go over it. Uh, apparently the 30 seconds is gonna be probably pretty much the same in most cases. So that's your goal, under 30 seconds if you're gonna do a video, but believe me, if you do videos, you're just one step ahead of your comp competitor who's probably not doing videos, who may not be doing anything at all. So today what we talked about is pictures and posts that are both stuff your competitor's probably not doing, 
And if you do it, it's going to help you compared to your competitor. And it's also going to help you with regard to Google and how they think about you and how they rank you under the keywords that matter to you. Because after all, you do want to be number one on Google My Business. And that's what we're trying to help you do on Small Business Daily. See you next time.